Hi, welcome to Gainor's Spotlight. Uh, we're going to be covering a lampshade today and also I'm going to show you a uh, lamp base that I've already beaded. So we're going to need our fabric and, uh, and of course a, a lampshade. You're going to need spray on glue, acid free, so we don't have any yellowing or marking of the fabric uh, down the line. We've got uh, double sided tape. Love this stuff. This is all from Spotlight. Um, scissors and a pencil. Now we're just going to be laying the, the um, lamp on top. Put the um, seam down first and mark where your seam is on the on the lampshade. Okay, and then we're going to roll it. And it'll roll naturally uh, on its own and that's where you're going to get your shape from. And you go as far as the seam again and mark about a finger space uh, past it so we've got overlap. Okay then, I've used a book here because I couldn't find my ruler. But we're going to uh, draw the lines in now. So now this is the, the straight edges of the, the lampshade. Now when we um, start to cut, we're going to need a finger space. So that will be for turning over. Okay, so I'm making sure I've got a finger space there between the line and where I want to cut. And away we go. Now I've changed glues here because I didn't realise I, I uh, had made a mess of my, the can. We're spraying the back of the the, um, the fabric. I've put another piece of fabric down because I don't want to mark my table. Uh, I didn't clean the nozzle of my last slot of glue, but this is also a good glue. It's also acid free. So now we're going to put the fabric. When we put the fabric around, we need to make sure the seam matches the seam. Okay then, so the seam on the on the lampshade, we're also going to be putting uh, our seam from our fabric on, on top of that because it's going to be the back of our lamp. Now we're smoothly, smoothing out any bubbles. Here comes our uh, double sided tape and we're going to put that down uh, the back of the seam here because it is, uh, it's, I think it's a wonderful product to um, make sure everything stays the heat of the lamp does not affect it uh, and it will last for quite some time on there um, if you're not playing around with it of course uh, it will stay okay we're taking the backing off now you'll see I'll, I'll have plenty of overlap with the uh, with the seam here in a minute and we're going to roll it over pushing out any bubbles and it will, and we're going to uh, rub it down nice and tight there so it, it, it sticks well. Now, there's our seam. We're going to now pull that over because that's still got glue on it. Our spray glue, we're still on there. And we fold that over to give us a nice, neat edge. And then we're going to put another piece of double sided tape. And the reason why I use double sided tape is because it, it gives it a nice neat uh, finish and, it, and it's flat. It keeps it nice and flat as you'll see when I finish here. If you're looking for the fabric that I'm using here, this is called Arabian Nights and it's a quilting fabric. It's 100% cotton. You'll find in our quilting section of Spotlight. Now we're going to straighten the edge down the bottom there, but we're still leaving our turnover. So I'm just going to snip off what we don't need. We don't need too much there. And while we're doing this, I'm heating up my um, glue gun. 
I'm just going to snip the top because uh, it won't turn in very well and you need a nice uh, finish at the top there otherwise you will notice it's a bit lumpy so I'm uh, just doing a little bit of a cut there just before you get to the top of your, your lampshade so it will fold in nicely you'll see when I start to use the glue gun okay so the glue gun here we're going to put it on the on the rim and start to smooth it all in there's also another way we can do this uh, I just find this is easier when you're learning to do lampshades um, you can use bias binding and put that over the top but this is a nice easy one for people who are just learning to recover uh, and that's what I'm um, aiming at right now to show people how to do them um, if you're not sure how to cover a lampshade this is a nice easy way to do it and now we had to do the um, remember how we had to snip the top this is why because you also have the wires up the top there our um, frame and we need to get past that so you can see now I'll be able to glue all this down and we can mold it around the wire and there we are we have our new um, lampshade there and see how I've twisted beads around the the bottom of the the uh, base there that is so simple that's all done with hot glue and uh, and your beads which are two dollars per meter in our haberdashery thank you for watching